Exploring shipwrecks has to be one of the most exciting things to do underwater. Shipwrecks are not only fun to explore, but they're fascinating time capsules from another age. I've explored a lot of wrecks, but the Prince Eugen is one of the most interesting and unique. Hi, I'm Jonathan Bird, and welcome to my world. I'm standing on Kwajalein, an island smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, and I think it might be the hottest place on Earth. A major battle was fought here more than 50 years ago between the United States and Japan during World War II. Today, Kwajalein is a restricted U.S. Army base, and not many people get to dive here. The lagoon is littered with the remains of many Japanese ships from the battle. But today, I'll be diving on the wreck of the Prince Eugen, a German heavy cruiser built in 1936 by the Nazis. How it ended up at Kwajalein Atoll in the middle of the Pacific is an interesting story. The Prince Eugen, along with the German warship Bismarck, was involved in the famous battle with the British ship Hood in 1941. The Prince Eugen escaped and survived the war only to be surrendered to the United States in 1945. In 1946, the U.S. military took the Eugen, fully armed and provisioned, to Bikini Atoll for atomic bomb testing. By that time, Kwajalein Atoll was an important U.S. base and the center of operations for the Bikini Atomic Test Program. Surprisingly, the Eugen survived not one, but two atomic blasts. It was still afloat, so they towed it to nearby Kwajalein for decontamination and study. But before she could be studied, the Eugen unexpectedly rolled over and sank. The opportunity to study her was lost. Although many of the wrecks at Kwajalein Atoll can be hard to locate without a depth finder, the Prince Eugen is not one of them because it sank close to shore. The bow lies in over a hundred feet of water, but the stern sticks up above the surface with several props still attached. Analysis by the military has determined that radiation levels are now acceptable for exploration of the wreck. So our team suits up to explore the Prince Eugen. Historian Mark Miller, expedition leader Tom Krasuski, and I are going to explore the wreck and see what we can find. Ready, Tom? Hey. Let's go. Entering the water, we head towards the bow. Everything looks confusing on this wreck because it's upside down. I'm the only cameraman on this expedition, so it's up to me to stay behind the camera and follow Mark's lead. As we enter the wreck, it's spooky. The ceilings are where the floor should be, and the floor is over my head. All the walls are rusting and coming apart. This once mighty ship feels like it could crumble around me. I'm diving into a piece of history. Not too many ships have been tested with an atom bomb, never mind Nazi ships. We venture down a long hallway and into a galley. Part of the galley contains a bakery. We carefully squeeze in there and find some cooking utensils still lying about. The ovens used to make meals for the crew are still intact. Although rusting at the seams, the white enamel fronts are in good shape.
even the maker's mark is still visible on the oven door. I can only imagine what it was like to be aboard this ship so long ago. The ship's 8-inch artillery guns had gravity-mounted turrets. They just sat there unattached to the ship. They weigh so much, they weren't going anywhere unless the ship turned upside down. But then it did here at Kwajalein. The ship was fully provisioned and rearmed for the bikini test. Authorities wanted to find out what an atom bomb would do to a typical ship. So they stocked the food lockers and they restocked the arms. They replaced missing cannon and artillery shells so the magazines were full and they replaced any missing torpedoes. When they dropped the atomic bomb on this ship, it was loaded to the hilt. And a lot of those munitions are still in place and live. The torpedoes that we see when we venture into the torpedo locker are live. They have a couple of hundred pounds of TNT in each warhead. Even 60 years later, they can go off. So we're very careful when we squeeze through that room. The Prince Eugen is a dangerous wreck to dive. It's not only upside down, but tilted to one side, making the interior very disorienting. It's also silty, so we have to be careful not to kick up too much muck in the wreck. We could get lost inside. What is especially surprising to me is that although atomic weapons were used on the Prince Eugen not once, but twice, it appears to have no more deterioration than other ships of the same age that were sunk with conventional weapons. All too soon, with decompression time accumulating, we must end our dive and head for the surface. I spend a few minutes under the boat decompressing on a special high oxygen mix supplied from the surface before heading up. I will probably never get to explore this remote wreck again, but I feel incredibly privileged to have experienced this piece of history firsthand before it crumbles and decays into the sea.